Okay, so walk around this uh, 1988 Porsche 944S. Um, <clears throat> finished in, it's either Alpine white or Grand Prix white, I can't remember what they call it, but it's white. Um, with uh, contrasting interior. Uh, standard 944S. I can't remember if, it's, if, it's, if these are the S2 wheels or if it's got the correct wheels on. Um, I don't want emails saying yes or no, frankly, but whatever it is, it's got the, uh, the nicer... Um, in my opinion, one, two, three, four, seven hole uh, alloys on. Uh, electric sunroof, rear spoiler, all the usual bits and pieces. Uh, we've got Avon's there, Avon there. What have we got on the other side? That's an Avon. That's an Avon as well. So Avon tyres all round. Um, let's look in a bit more detail. It's done almost 160,000 miles, so uh, as you expect, there's uh, one or two blemishes on it here and there, and it is now, what, 22 years old. So, that's how I think, uh, but it's in pretty good shape, really, all round. Um, pretty good at the front. All the uh, the fog lights and driving lights are all still in uh, intact and in one piece. It's got a headlamp wash as well. Um, front bumper, there's a couple of stone chips and uh, sort of blemishes there, just where stones have hit it, especially just there. Blemishes on the front apron, um, or stone chips rather on the front apron. There's a dark patch just there in the paint. Um, don't know if it will cut out or not, but sort of a sort of dark, looks like a patch of dirt there on the on the paint on the bonnet. A few stone chips, a couple of bigger ones there, a few small ones here, a couple up here, but it looks to be the original paint on the bonnet. Um, paint well, looks to be pretty original round really. If it has been repainted, it was uh, some while ago. Um, looking down the near side, one or two minor little parking dinks here and there. We've got looking down here, there's a tiny parking dink just there in the front of the near side uh, front wing. Um, a centimetre long scratch just there. Um, and I saw another parking dink, there it is, just on the back of the, the near side rear wing just here, um, which has been touched in, I think. It's obviously gone right through to the, uh, uh, the base coat. Um, Looking down the rest of the near side, one or two minor marks here and there, but it's pretty good. Obviously, white shows pretty much every mark. The screen is good. Um, the roof is good. Tiny, tiny hint. If you want to be really picky, tiny hint of bubbling just starting up along there, but really, really minor, just along the um, uh, the trim strip. Sunroof's all good. It's not rotting around the roof at all. It's all nice. Passenger door. Is all good, mirror's all good. Take a look inside. The interior is really nice actually. The front seats have been um, recovered, they were done some years ago because uh, normally the front seats on these are a bit uh, um, bit manky and always split and stuff and go worn. This one's no exception. The only thing is, they haven't covered them in quite the same material. In the back, you've got sort of a, like a pinstripe type uh, material, and these front ones are uh, more like sort of um, anthracite alcantara, but uh, they're quite pleasant. But as I say, it doesn't quite match the rear seats or the door cards. But uh, uh, interior-wise, it's all there. The door cards are all in good shape. And the interior is in really, really good shape. As I say, it's just to uh, say the, um, the front seats haven't been recovered in quite the same material. Um, but no, otherwise all good inside. Well, that's pretty good, in fairness. Uh, near side rear wing, a couple of blemishes here and there. There's sort of a, uh, a couple of deep scratches there and there and there and there. And a small mark just along there on the top of the um, where the wing comes over um, and it has had a little bit of paintwork just here rather inexpertly done it's obviously um, started to bubble up a little bit around this uh, seam join here and it's had some paint there and there it looks like it's been uh, sort of aerosoled on really but not very well done um, just in the corner there can't really see it because under the spoiler but it is there and as you can see the um, the bubbling just starting to come through again uh, just on the uh, on that seam. Uh, the rest of the tail panel is all good. Spoiler's nice, rear screen's nice. Looking down the offside, very straight down the offside actually, from here. Uh, offside rear wings, a couple of minor scratches just down here, just low down. Um, little couple of scratches just underneath the fuel filler where they always get it. A couple of parking dinks, there's one just there, just underneath the driver's door handle. Uh, Two scratches, one there, one there, on the offside front wing. I am being picky, it's 22 years old, but even so. Um, there's a mark just there, so that's obviously where the lacquer's come off a little bit around the, um, around the rubbing strip. 
offside front wing has got a small parking dink just there and just there just underneath the 16 valve badge um, it's got a nice selection of uh, mud up here now just move about to photograph it fantastic but uh, screen on the driver's side looks pretty good no problems there at all it's probably had a fresh coat of, um, of white underseal along the bottom edge I say probably because I would expect it to be uh, a little dirtier than that under there but that's about it so it's you know it's it's in nice shape actually wheels are in good order oh one of the things a parking scuff just there on the um front of the near side front bumper parking scuff just there that's about it my name's simon you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. End.